one. That one has like, it looks like it has four eyes on it. Right there. The one right there with four eyes. So that's four eyes. And they fly all the way to Mexico, I think. The Butterfly Pavilion is, is it's a seasonal exhibit. We have two actually, we have the Butterfly Pavilion and the Spider Pavilion. And the Spider Pavilion is more in the fall. Our Butterfly Pavilion, which actually opened to the public today, is needs more warm weather, so it's a summer exhibit. And then it, later in the year, when it gets colder, we do the spiders, we prefer the fall weather. I've been volunteering here for about a month now, but it's certainly not my first volunteer experience. I used to work up at the Monterey Bay Aquarium for about eight years. I'm a mechanical engineer. So I, uh, I design turbines up in Valencia, and I, I love it, but I don't get to really teach much, and that's really one of my passions, so I come here to do that. Hey, my name is Brayden. We also have Ashley and Glenn in the pavilion as well. In case any of you have any questions, feel free to sit us down and ask away. Uh, we do have to go over a couple of rules before going into the space. So we do have lots of live butterflies. All the plants are alive as well. So even with the plants, we do ask no picking at the plants. And also be very careful because we do already have tiny little butterfly eggs that have been laid on some of these plants. So we don't want to brush up against them and accidentally drop those eggs. All of the butterflies here, you can get really close and look at them. But please no touching the butterflies because they do taste and smell through their feet. And so even touching them and picking them up, we have a lot of holes on our skins and it can kind of clog up essentially their nose. And then their uh, wings are made up of tiny little scales. So we don't want any of those little scales coming off of their wings as well. But it's a great day for picture taking because they do need that sun to be active. So they are not flying around a whole bunch today. Before you exit, we will ask for um, you guys to spin around real quick so we can check you for butterflies and little hikers that might be riding out. But thank you all for coming today and let us know if you have any questions. The metamorphosis is, is it's a huge biological change in these creatures. And you know, caterpillar looks nothing like a butterfly, same way, both directions. And when you need to make that kind of change, you need to store a lot of energy to do it. And so that's what the caterpillar does. It just eats and it eats and it eats and it stores up fat stores until finally you can take the time to just take a break, cocoon itself, basically hibernate and allow its body to take those changes. And so it stores that fat, produces the cocoon, and just waits for however long it is, depending on the species. Um, and its body just goes through all these biological changes, burns all the fat when that butterfly comes out, it has nothing left. So it's gotta immediately feed, take care of itself, because it's just spent all that energy doing those changes. In general terms, I mean, one of the things that they attribute a lot of the problems with the, um, with the monarchs is the monarchs, as I said, have to be on the milkweed plant. And um, because farmers use things like Roundup that spray on to get rid of weeds, there's no milkweed. So milkweed, um, uh, one of the places that milkweed is really common is in like irrigation ditches and those things around agricultural areas. So not on the agricultural land, but the adjacent land. Um, and so one of the things that the, um, the museum is participating in that other people can do too is if you go outside, you'll see something called the Monarch uh, Way Station. And so basically if you plant a little patch of milkweed plants, the native monarchs, not in this container, but will just come in and lay their eggs on those things. So, um, so if you go right that little patch right there, you can see it's like boxed around and that has milkweed that they've planted so that people can see how they don't need to be in here. They can be anywhere that they have their... Any backyard that has uh, no Well, I will say that while I like the butterfly pavilion, the spider pavilion in the fall is my absolute favorite. It's the most fun exhibit of the year. I mean, we have butterflies year round in Southern California, but they're, they thin out really. It's really, you know, spring, summer, into the beginning of the fall, and then that's the end of the year. That's why we have the, the spider pavilion in the fall that just comes and cleans up after all the butterflies.